Hello, my name is uh, Rien van Genuchte and I'm very pleased that I was asked to say a few things of the uh, work we did over the years on uh, modeling of water flow and solute transport processes. And the work really started in the late 70s when I was a postdoc at Princeton, uh, but I worked over the years then with many, many others who contributed in various ways. The focus really was on three equations. I call them the building blocks of water flow. This is the Richards equation. Actually, interestingly, Richards was a, uh, a scientist also at the Salinity Laboratory that's in Riverside, California, where I worked uh, for many years. I still met him, of course, then he, re he was already retired. Uh, in these, uh, for these numerics that resulted then in the hydrous codes, which I think are, are quite popular now used, uh, we have the variably saturated flow equation, of course, the contaminant transport, solute transport equation, and we also look at heat transport. And again, we worked on this for many, many, many years with various applications. The one that I looked mostly at the time was on agricultural applications. That was at the salinity lab. So we looked a lot at salinity. We looked at nutrients also, uh, the environmental fate, very much on pesticides. Actually, my PhD was on that area and then a number of other things. And of course, the various processes that had to be taken into account. Here you can see the same also for industrial applications. Actually, the governing equations uh, are really the same if it is for a pesticide or some nutrients or really for a contaminant from, uh, from uh, arising from uh, poor management of your industrial uh, uh, pollutants. Uh, next slide. What these hydrous codes are all about is basically a lot of processes that we incorporated. So water flow, uh, root water uptake, still quite a, a, a considerable challenge to do that accurately. Uh, we had a, a sink turn then for root water uptake that accounts for compensated and uncompensated uptake, uh, isothermal, thermal liquid, preferential flow was always a big concern. You know, when you have preferential flow, uh, there can be very quick pollution of your contaminants uh, derived from, from surface uh, mismanagement to, to groundwater. Then we had heat flow, and then we spent a lot of time on solute transport processes. You can here have a look, you know, just the, the kind of uh, standard advection dispersion processes in liquid phase, diffusion in the gas phase, linear, nonlinear absorption, various non equilibrium processes, as you can see here, uh, and then also again a sink term for water and solute going into uh, plants. I mean, your uptake, it can be passive, it can be active, it can be no uptake. Yeah. This is a history. This is actually from Hydrus 2D. So you can see that I started working on that many, many years ago. There's a lot of input uh, we had at the time of a code uh, called Unset uh, from uh, uh, Shlomo Neumann and others in, uh, in Tucson, Arizona. We had some input from Vogel and others uh, from the Agricultural University of Wageningen in the Netherlands. And then we kind of combined that all when we were working at the Salinity Lab in Riverside. And the one that, of course, took it over, you can see here his name is Simonek a lot. He, Simonek initially worked for me. We worked briefly together, but in the end I started working for uh, Jörg Simonek. Yeah. And then there are a number of modules that we, uh, we did. We, we combine this with, uh, with Freak C, for example. There's an HP, we call it HP model. We have a model for constructed wetlands that was done by uh, uh, Langergraben in, in, in Vienna. The HP codes were done mostly by uh, Diederik Jacques. Yeah. So, uh, next slide. So, this is kind of it in terms of uh, the various processes that we tried to build in. It's really neat from out, for now to see how this has been accomplished to some extent. You know, we always say experiments are important, but we learn so much from experiments, we put it into the hydrous codes, and actually running these codes for various applications, you can learn also a lot. Eh? The codes are basically available from PC Progress or the hydrous2d.com uh, uh, website. The 1D version is in the public domain, the 2D version you have to pay a little bit for, it's not quite, uh, quite uh, completely free. Thank you.